Hey guys, what's going on? Force here from Force Strategy Gaming, casting game number two for you between FX Optic Zero and Mouse's Nama. Now we are on Zelnaga Caverns this time. Again, this is a Protoss versus Terran. Should be excited here. Well, I am excited. <laughs> Should be an interesting matchup, however. I'm um, looking forward to both very good players, both very strong indeed, and I quite enjoy this matchup anyways. The TV TVP matchup is something that I like to watch. So going back to what I mentioned in the last video, talking about the uh, StarCraft II, uh, New England StarCraft II League, um, I'm really excited about this, and I'm going to start promoting it pretty heavily because I think it's a really good thing. You know, The existence of lands isn't as evident anymore in StarCraft II just because landing isn't an option for the game. You do need an internet connection, so you are forced to connect to Battle.net to play these games. Um, but still, with that said, having that community and being able to get together with other players and being able to get together with your friends to go to a LAN event is something that I think is really important. So I'm going to start promoting this. You know, we are in the New England area. So if you are a player in New England and uh, going to actual tournaments, actual events is something that you're interested in. Um, there are definitely options out there for you. And I'll let you know about future events in upcoming videos. In fact, next weekend, next Saturday, there is going to be an event for um, bronze to platinum players. And this is something else that I really like. It's not just going to be for the highest level of competition you know the tournament scene is fun for everybody and even if you're not a diamond or masters level player you can still enjoy tournaments and we're still going to be holding tournaments um, not as quite frequently as we do for the higher level players but there will still be tournaments for again bronze to platinum level players and the next one is going to be this upcoming Saturday and I'll give you more information later this week about that so both players moving out right now with their scouting units you can see Nama right inside of Optic Zero's base and the same thing is going to be happening over here for Optic Zero right inside of Nama's base it looks like we are going to be seeing a little bit of a probe harassment quite annoying indeed on the flip side though of that coin Nama's probably going to be doing the same um, no just kind of chilling out right now there we go a little bit of damage going down so trying to be as much of a nuisance as possible doing as much damage as possible the thing is the probes obviously have that advantage because they have that shield to recharge there ends up losing that probe though and it looks like actually the SCV dropped we can see a little bit of rem remains there on the ground and those did finally dissipate so both players losing their one scouting uh, resource gatherer there so that of course is quite unfortunate we have one marine moving out right now for Nama looks like a second marine is on the way as well so may very well be seeing some early aggression from Nama that of course could be very effective as you can see here we do have no zealot on the way right now for optic zero cyber next core just about finished he may be waiting just to come out with that stalker initially that is quite the possibility we do have a tech lab going down right now for Nama as well and probably a factory yes we do a factory going down for Nama at the moment now let's see what's going on back inside optic zero space no stalker in fact using those uh Vespian to get that rebox facility out first and actually there we go just finally coming out with that stalker right now but going for a very fast robo so quite interesting is we're going to want to get that observer out very quickly do some great scouting of nama's base and then probably move into immortals as well we can see here right in the center of the map that uh, Nama does have control of both of those Zelnaga towers, so going to be aware of any early pushes. Tech Lab just finished. We do have Concussive Shell going down as well, and a Marauder is on the way, so definitely going to be seeing some early aggression right now from Nama. Now look at this. First Stalker on the way out. Going to be moving up to the Zelnaga tower. Of course, Nama can see this, so hopefully he pulls the Marine back in time, but no, doesn't pull back in time, and actually he's probably going to lose it here to the Stalker fire. Stalker is, of course, faster than the Marine. Does manage to take that down. Does want to be careful. Doesn't want to lose the second marine as well that was quite unnecessary in fact the only reason that he really lost that marine was because he wasn't paying quite enough attention now we can see this marauder circumventing that stalker right now the concussive shell just about finished second marauder is going to be engaging that stalker right away forcing it away and where's this other marauder there we go so actually going to be sandwiching the stalker and concussive shell just about finished is he going to catch a stalker yes he does so he catches it concussive shell going to stop that stalker from being able to escape and it does drop so trading blow for blow both players taking losses right there um, at this point though it is the case that Optic Zero did take the heavier of losses in losing that stalker as opposed to those Marines. And we can see right now two Marauders, a Marine, and a Hellion going to be pushing out right now for Nama. Now, at this point, Optic Zero is aware of that because of that great placement of that Observer. Managed to catch that push or in route when he was going to check out what was going on inside of Nama's base. So is he prepared for this? That is the question. Sentry is not quite out yet. Chrono Boosting not going to be able to get it in time to do, uh, do a uh, force field though. So going to be moving in the middle line right now with this Hellion doing as much damage as possible also target firing the sentry we do have this immortal out so that's going to shoo away that hellion for the time being and we have a second hellion moving out right now so very dangerous position right now for optic zero 
Hero. Hellion's going to be moving in the mineral line. Wants to roast those probes. Uh, don't know why he's pulling away. He could deal with this Immortal with all these units that he has. We do have a few probe losses taking place right now. Immortal's going to be target firing these Hellions, but no, unfortunately, pulling away with the bulk of his army. He does end up losing the Hellions here to this one Immortal, but the that one Immortal should not have shooed this entire army away. He could have dealt with it if he target fired it very quickly. I think he was fearful of the fact that there were probes being pulled forward as well. But the thing to consider is that he could have used the Hellions to take care of the probes and then just target fired that Immortal, taking it out, and then continue to do damage. You can see there is a, not another unit out. He had to wait for that warp gate research, so there would, would have been nothing out, and he would have had definitely had a window of opportunity to do a little more damage. So I definitely think that was a missed opportunity for Nama, unfortunately. And we do have a Dark Shrine right now coming out for Optic Zero, grabbing that Twilight Council, and then coming out with that Dark Shrine and what else do we have going on here a war prism so we're going to see a war prism coming in right now and probably going to be warping in units right inside of nama's base hitting that economy of course is a very important thing we do of course have a banshee on the way out as well um, with this observer he's going to have a fairly good idea of when that comes out as long as he keeps it here to see what finishes out of that starport and in seeing a banshee he would be fearful of course of cloak so he's going to want to bring his observer back home but very interesting play so far um going straight for a war prism dt drop not the most standard of things but can of course be very effective so seeing that banshee move out right now optic zero is going to be aware of that looks like he is pulling that observer back home again he is fearful of the possibility of cloak and there we go war prism moving on up dark shrine just about finished right now also going to be getting that charge upgrade pretty low on unit count right now in fact at the moment a push from nama could be pretty devastating taking a look at what optic zero has for units not a whole lot at the moment we do have this expansion coming down as well uh, same thing is taking place over here for nama's base but here we go dt drop just about to happening and at the same time we are going to be seeing this banshee come into play so one dt moving forward going to be moving in the economy doing as much damage as possible we do have a raven coming out though so he's going to be able to deal with this very shortly doesn't quite have enough energy at the moment to be able to go ahead and scan so he's going to have to wait for that raven but the second the raven comes out he's going to be in a whole lot of trouble uh, raven's just about finished right now banshee still hasn't moved in right here in the corner of the map we did have those scan go down and he was able to take care of that one dt that was in his base but again i don't think that scan was super necessary because that raven came out pretty much at the same time so right now we do have a second dark templar coming into play um i'm not quite sure why he's continuing to go with us knowing that the raven is on the board and we can see right now pulling back with the bulk of his army as well as that raven is still that banshee hasn't done anything actually looks like he did take one shot so tried to move in but probably took a stalker shot and then was forced to pull back and again with that raven those dt aren't going to be nearly as effective looks like he is going to be picking up that war prism and bringing it back home now at this moment both players trying to go for some harassment neither of them being too too effective um if anything I do think Optic Zero was at an advantage there because he did stop mining for quite some time. Can't really say the same took place for Nama though because he wasn't really able to push in into Optic Zero's base without Cloak and just with that one Banshee. Those stalkers were enough to shoo him away. Um, so at this moment right now, I'm going to say that uh, Optic Zero is at an advantage. Again, he did stop mining for quite some time. Having the Raven on this board, again, any more DT harassment isn't going to be nearly as effective. We do have one DT right now. Going to be moving into the expansion. Probably going to be trying to warp into DT in the main as well, but no. Going to be moving down with his Marine very close to losing that war prison but does just manage to get away and that dt right in the back of uh, nama's base going to be stopping mining again so if nothing else having these dt come into play have stopped mining for quite some time running away with that dt right now because he does know that raven army is coming in just a moment so really great play so far from optic zero doing a great job of banshee defense having these units right in the back of his minerals and just continuing up trying to do this harassment the one marine is going to stop this from being warped in though going to be very close is he going to be able to warp in time before it drops no he does so losing the DT as well as that War Prism, that one hero Marine managed to take out both. Uh, do have Stimpak coming right now as well for Nama. Once that's up, going to make things like that a little bit more effective. So at this point, both players just on two bases right now. Nama's definitely going to have to try to recover economically. We can see he's taking quite a few SCV losses and as a result is behind Optic Zero. Optic Zero definitely in a really strong position right now. Coming out with that forge, I think he also has a uh, Templar Archives coming in. Yes, he does. So Templar Archives is on the way. Going to be getting some high Templar as well as going to be seeing some Storm knowing that we're kind of actually isn't really that bio heavy. He does have uh, quite a few amount of tanks, but will likely be going pretty bio heavy as you tend to see. Um, 
pretty much marine marauder is the backbone of the army and then throwing in some tanks also got some ravens in there as well some vikings to deal with colossus but we don't have any colossus on the way for optic zero so getting vikings wouldn't be as necessary as getting ghost would be so we'll be interested to see if he does decide to go for ghost at all some more siege tanks coming out it looks like we are going to be seeing a marine drop right now uh first checking to see if anything's going on this third and then probably going to be moving right into the natural expansion here of optic zero couple high templar out on the board already having some uh more zealots being warped in as well gonna move to the center see if he can take map control also does want to check to see what's going on at this high yield checking right here at this third base we can see that it's not up he's gonna have a trouble dealing with this he's gonna actually be forced just to lift up the marines drop down if we see a stim drop right here at the economy but no actually stimming down does want to try to take down what pylons are here gonna be trying to supply block and he may very well do so but no extra pylons coming down forces moving forward gonna be forced to pick up those marines and pull back home but no stock is very close target firing that one medevac and his marines are left to die gonna do as much damage as possible by stimming and moving away and doing what they can to do as much damage to those zealots as possible i guess i already said that but anyways nice bunker placement here by nama gonna stop any forward pushes he does of course have to worry about this back wall but again kind of mirroring the pylon placement here we do see depot placement seeing more and more players do things like this also doing something like placing an engineering bay or a barrack back here just equally as effective now optic zero moving to the center and i wouldn't be too surprised if we saw nama try to do the same and there we go command center going down and again these rocks are down so gonna be trying to move to the center as well we'll be a little bit later than optic zero however we can see optic zero's base already about a third of the way in so he's gonna be getting that gold expansion a little bit earlier and i think so far uh, over the course of the game nama has been behind i'm um, just dealing with that dt harassment was a little bit too much and he hasn't really harassed the economy of optic zero uh to any sort of equal effect effectiveness <clears throat> We do still have this one Banshee kind of hanging out over here. We'll like to see him do something at some point. Also seeing a couple cannons go down for some defense of this gold high yield expansion over here. Nice little tank line going down. He's going to want to push that forward though once he gets that high yield. And moving forward right now with this Dark Templar. Going to do what he can but no Raven going down. And that Dark Templar dropping very, very quickly. Also spotting this Observer and may get dropped. Obviously Observer is very low in health. Dropping the turret as well to take out the Observer. Really nice move there by Nama. All he lost was energy and that will of course be regained. So really no reason not to drop the turret. Uh, I like that. that. That was very quick response time there by Nama. Definitely like to see that. Pushing forward right now though. He does want to try to stop this expansion from going down. We are seeing fortifications go down. And this is exactly what Optic Zero doesn't want. He's going to try to take advantage of the fact that it's still going up. Not all of the tanks are in siege mode. Charge lots going into play. A uh, Raven gets dropped by that feedback. Charge going to be moving right into the siege tanks. Big storm going down as well. Looks like Optic Zero is mopping up the forces right here, but we do have some more siege tanks sitting back in the line, storming to do what damage he can. This Immortal is definitely going to go to town here on these tanks. He does have to worry about those light units, but they are quickly dropped. And the tanks do manage to save this from being too, too devastating. But, you know, Nama did lose quite a bit of units in that engagement. Obviously, so did Optic Zero. But I don't think Optic Zero had quite as much invested. Okay, so maybe he did. Um, so both players losing quite a bit there. But breaking up those siege tanks was definitely huge. And at the very least, he put some sort of a delay here on this expansion. So that obviously is a good idea as well. Seeing a nice little placement here of the sensor tower. We're going to see any sort of pushes before it's too late of the center. You can see he, of course, does have this tower, but he will be able to spot any pushes coming in this direction. So really like to see that. The one thing about towers is, of course, they're very expensive, being 100 Vespian and 100 Minerals. But if you can put them in kind of a fortified area like we're seeing Nama here do, um, it's not quite do here. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying sometimes. Um, as we're seeing Nama do here, uh, putting the sensor tower in a fortified position makes it a little less vulnerable and so it is kind of worth the investment at that point but having like a sensor tower over here so easy to be sniped off it would be very quick it'd be a very quick move for optic zero to take out a sensor tower in this direction and then he could just you know just take that as a little small victory that it would be moving forward with a few tanks wants to actually shift this uh, tank line to a different position it looks like interested to see where he goes i wonder if he's going to be moving forward for any aggression could try, try to be uh, leapfrogging here into optic zero's high yield that will of course be effective and yeah it looks like he is trying to move those fortifications a little bit more forward really like this uh bunker placement here getting a couple depots there as well to try to inhibit charge loss from pushing in we do have this planetary fortress so that obviously is a uh, self fortifying right there and probably gonna be seeing another expansion sometime very soon and actually that in fact right as i say that i do notice that optic zero has moved into his fourth base over here so definitely gonna want to see nama do the same thing he needs to move he needs to stay up on economy gonna be moving down trying to take out this expansion if not just do economic damage stim marines going down gonna be taking out as many probes as possible but the 
a lot of reinforcements coming up so going to be forcing those units to be picked up and dropped here on the high ground if nothing else probably going to be able to take out this pilot right here but uh oh high templar right here and a couple of void rays and now he may very well be losing these units high templar wants to come into play is he going to drop a storm or a feedback what is his choice charge lots moving in in fact doing nothing with that because he didn't really need to and it looks like those void rays are going to mop up that medevac so small little victory there for optic zero now again, like I mentioned, we do want to see another expansion right now for Nama, and I do see a command center building. I just don't know where it is. There it is. So he does want to move into another expansion. He's going to start to fall behind. He obviously knows about this base up here, and uh, having a couple zealots up the front, Optic Zero is going to defend against some small pushes, but a big siege push going to be going forward right now. You can see him slowly moving that siege line forward, pulling the tanks at the back, and then moving them a little bit forward. In fact, having no tanks right now defending this planetary fortress, just relying on the fact that it's durable building by itself. And here we go push going forward right now this is gonna be very hard for optic zero to deal with he's gonna have to try to mop up the back side right here moving forward with the charge lots doing what he can tons of void rays coming into play as well turrets are gonna be doing a lot of damage to his void rays charge lots moving in lots of high templar moving forward though so maybe seeing some storms on the bulk of the army and it actually looks like optic zero is gonna push forward through this big storms going down big problem right now for nama this push is going to break him i think he doesn't have a lot back here you can see he moved that entire siege line forward and that may have been a big mistake because optic zero just managed to mop right over that he's going to continue this push right now zealots moving forward we do have a few marines as well as a thor that is pretty durable going to be microing around as well but big storms going down dropping all those marines and it looks like nam is in a very bad position now this push is just continue seeing some more units being streamed to reinforce as well void rays doing some damage over here big storm going down that thor is going to be dropped very quickly thor is down tanks getting dropped by those immortals and seeing these high templar go right into archons right now and this is not looking good right now for nama optic zero just again mopped up all those forces in the middle and this is a big big problem one void ray hanging on for deal life right there doing what damage he can trying to charge up before he does die and give his life to ire we do have this one tank up here but nama losing this expansion is absolutely huge we have seen real no pressure on this gold high yield so he feels like he's still in the game he still has a chance gonna be pulling forward with his SUVs to do what he can for damage microing up that tank trying to pick it up and let it do damage and then drop it back down but i don't know if it's enough again we just still have quite a bit of forces right here and these void rays again have been doing massive damage nine kills for this one 12 kills for that void right right now these tanks gonna get dropped so quickly and nama does call good game so nice game number two in this three game series between these two players again what we saw at the end of the game there was nama tried to move his siege line forward trying to take out this gold high yield expansion but that may have been a mistake he had his tanks quite a bit spread out and we saw lots of charge lots coupled with his void race and high templar just storm right through the center position right here they mopped up everything he had and then were able to move right into this base right here and as soon as he started taking out production buildings that's when nama really was at a huge disadvantage not being able to come out with those extra units to help reinforce is a real big problem he only had the production buildings inside of his base and it wasn't quite enough to reinforce quickly enough to deal with this push so again good game number two between these two players gonna be moving on shortly to game number three as always guys if you enjoy the content subscribe to the channel keep watching and keep owning probes going for a gateway uh going for an econ heavy build rather and it looks like we do have these two gateways coming in probably going to be seeing a fourth as well and wouldn't be too surprised if we saw some early four get aggression and what's going on we do have a probe over here so might be seeing a proxy pylon being placed in this position a really good spot as well would be somewhere in this direction but that of course would be spotted if nama happened to have this El naga tower so that's possibly why he's not going for that and instead opting for putting the pylon right up here and there we go fourth gateway coming in so we're going to be seeing a four gate push from optic zero sometime in the near future this can be quite devastating to deal with as a terran player we do have this bunker placement up here so going to help kind of shoo away any pushes up the front door and actually going to be checking to see what's going on up there optic zero moving up his stalker looking to see precisely what's happening i'm pretty positive he didn't see that no so he hasn't seen the bunker right now and it looks like yeah he might be working on the back door right now now at the moment nama is not aware of this some great placement out of the vision there of any units on the high ground so gonna be warping in right there and we do have this one reaper out right now however so gonna be moving around trying to get some scouting information he does see this proxy pylon he doesn't know about the one though right at the rock so very dangerous position right now warp gate is up gonna start warping these units very shortly here we go damage going down in these back rocks now